हाय एवरीवन आई शुरुजीत वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन इकोनोमेट्रिक्स डे चैनल आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सिक्स का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टुडे क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स वी आर अगेन गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर वन Knowing our numbers, and we are going to continue with exercise 1.2. And today's part is part 10. So till our last part, that is part 9, we solved question number till question number six. And today we are going to solve question number seven. So let us see what they are asking in the question. Estimate the product. So you have to find out the product, but you have to find out the estimated value of the product. So now, if this is the sum, if I want to solve this one, nine four one zero into one thirty into forty seven. So how we will solve this one? This is a four digit number. So we will see the ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Okay. So nine thousand. If I want to round off here in the thousand place, so what I will do? We will see the previous one. That is four. That is less than. Five. Okay, so if it is five and above, okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then this will become one will be added to the next one. But it is since it is four, that is four, three, two, one, zero. So what we will do? Nine will become nine thousand only. Into now next one is one thirty. So we will round off in hundreds place. Okay, so it will become what? After one, what is there three? So it will become zero zero. Okay, understanding now? If it was suppose six, then this will become two hundred. Understanding? Now next one forty seven. We will round off in the tens. So after four, what is there seven? So I told you five and above. So it will become one will be added to this four. So this will become what fifty. Clear? Now we are going to multiply. Now, how to multiply? That is also very important, easier way. How many zeros are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we will write six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, six zeros. I wrote six zeros. Okay. Now see here nine into one nine. Then nine into five. How much? Nine fives are forty-five. So forty-five. Now you can put the comma. Okay, like this way. So this is the answer. Got a point? So remember one thing. What is that one? If it is five and above, five and above means what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then what will happen if these numbers are there? Then one is added. Lower than that, nothing is added. Okay. Now this one, see, answer two thousand five hundred forty-seven. I will round off in this thousand place. So after two, what is there? Five. So automatically, this one I will not write two thousand, but I will write three thousand. Clear? Now here eleven. So tens place is one. After one, again one it is there. So there will be no change. It will be one, and this will become what? Ten, zero. That means ten. Now we will multiply. So how many zeros are there? One, two, three, four. Okay, and three into one, three. So we got the answer. Clear. Now let us come to some number C. Answer. Okay. Now you can see here three thousand eight hundred ninety-five. I will round off here. Where I will round off here. Okay. Then I have to see the next one eight. That means after that all will be zero. And here this three one will be added. So this will be four thousand. Into again, I will round off where here. Okay, we have to see the next one. Next one is what seven. So this will be this for this two left. That will be zero zero. But this two will become what three. Now you understanding or no? Like for here also, I have not put the dash dash. So let me put it. Then you will understand. Ah, like this way. Clear? Understanding? Now here into. Now this is fifteen. So if I want to round off. Five and above, so one will be added. So for five, I will put zero, but for one, it will become 
2 1 is added clear no now we will multiply 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 zeros now 4 3 is a 12 12 2 is a 24 now i will put the comma comma and comma and this is the answer clear no now the next one for this one what will be the sum we will round off here so it will become what 2000 into if i want to round off here this will become what 40 clear now we will add a we will multiply not add we will multiply 2 into 4 8 okay and then how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 okay now you can put the comma and then this is the answer i hope you have understood from a to d now we will move on to the next question now question number 7 e so let us do answer okay so i will round off here but after 7 what is the again 7 so for these three digits that it will be 0 0 0 and for 7 1 will be added so 8000 again here i will round off in the 100 place so for these two digits it will be 0 0 and this will be 6 only why 6 why it is not added because the next one is 2 okay i told you only when 5 6 7 8 9 then only 1 is added okay now we will multiply 8 6 are 48 and how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and you got the answer clear now next this one answer so i will round off here so it will be what 8000 and here I will round off so for this two I will put two zeros and eight will become what nine now eight nines are 72 and how many zeros are there five so I will put five zeros and then I will put the comma and this is the answer understanding I hope E and F also you have understood nicely now students those who are new in my channel if you like this video if you like my channel then I would like to request all my students to please give a like share this video more and more with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all and also don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever i upload such videos you will get the notifications first now we will move on to the next question now let us come to question number eight estimate the quotient that means you have to divide when you divide you are getting quotient okay so let us do this sum first one number a so we will round off here so what will write the rest digits i will put zero and this will be four thousand only divided by 52 i will round off here okay so for this i will put here zero and this will be like this only therefore the estimated estimated you can write the estimated quotient quotient equal to and you will write down the answer so how you will write you will do one rough 4000 divided by well, how much 50 so 0 0 you cut then 5 1 the 5 5 8 the 40 then 0 so what you get 80 so you are getting 80 and this is the answer clear then next one for this sum answer so we'll round off here so it will become what 6000 divided by now you want to round off here so for this 8 will be becoming 0 and this 5 will become now 6 now therefore the estimated estimated quotient estimated quotient is equal to now we will divide so look here 6000 divided by 60 100 zero, zero cancels again 6 1 the 6 6 1 the 0 0 so 100 so i hope question number 8 a b you have understood okay now question number c 3895 divided by 15 so we will round off here so answer so for rest digits i will put zero and this three will become what you can see here eight so this will become four divided by if i want to round off here it is five so we'll put here zero and one will become two therefore the estimated 
एस्टिमेटेड क्वेश्चन Q U O T I E N T estimated quotient is equal to so we will divide this one so what it will come if I divide it if I wrap this one and do that division forty or four thousand divided by twenty zero zero cancels two two the four zero zero so how much you get two hundred clear so this is the answer now for this one answer. I will round off here. So for this two, it will be zero zero eight will become eight only because the next one digit is three, and divided by. Now here I will round off here. Clear no? So this will become zero and one will become two, so twenty. So what will be the answer? Now eight hundred divided by twenty zero zero cuts again two fours are eight zero. So what you get forty, okay? Or you can write like this also therefore the estimated quotient is equal to 40 and here is the answer clear a b c d i think you have understood now we will move on to the next question now we will come to question number 8 e okay so this is the sum so we will write answer okay And we will round off here. So for these digits, I will put zero zero zero, and five will become six six thousand divided by. I will round off here. So for these rest digits, I will put zero, and this will be three only. So therefore, the estimated estimated quotient. Without doing rough work, also you can do. Okay. So estimated quotient, what you will do? Six thousand. Divided by three hundred zero 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 zero. Now three ones are three, three twos are six zero. So what you get twenty, and this is the answer. Clear now? Then next one number F. So I will round off here. So rest digits I will put zero. Okay, and nine will be nine only because the next one is four, and divided by. If I want to do this one round off, it will be twenty only. Therefore, the estimated estimated quotient equal to so we will divide nine thousand divided by twenty zero zero. Now two ones are two, two fours are eight, one extra so ten, two fives are ten zero. So what you get four fifty, and this is the answer. Clear now? I hope you have understood question number eight, E and F also. So, students of class six, I was reading the comments which you have given to me, and there I found that many students are asking me to solve or to teach class six, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four like this. Okay, so now I have. Uh, planned that I will be uploading class six videos also, but on alternative days. Suppose today is Monday. If I give on Monday, then next will be on Wednesday, then Friday, and then Sunday, and like this it will go on. Okay, I will try to upload at least four videos in a week. Okay, now I think you have understood question number seven and eight nicely. Keep practicing, okay? These sums so that you can do these sums if it comes in the exam quickly and properly, okay? So that you can get full marks. So, अगर वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो वीडियो को लाइक, शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा. मिलते हैं और एक अच्छे नए कंटेंट के साथ. तब तक के लिए बाय बाय.